The Ibarajiari was built in 1976 by the first civilian governor of the state, Chief Bisi Onabanjo, to accommodate civil servants after the creation of the state from the old western region. It sits atop 32 hectares of prime land with current market value of about 20 billion naira in the state capital. <laughs> Addressing subscribers to the scheme, the State Commissioner for Housing said the structures at that area have diminished in value, hence the need for regeneration through the urban renewal project of the state government. Currently, 35 units of five-bedroom and two boys' quarters duplexes are being constructed by the state government to serve as a prototype of what is expected of subscribers to ensure uniformity. Given conditions and laid down rules and regulations that must be strictly adhered to by subscribers, the government, however, warned against violation, saying that allocation to deviants would be revoked. Uniformity externally, where you can alter the internal to your what? To your taste and satisfaction. We're very flexible about that because we can't even control. But what we are after is what? External package must be the same thing. And we will make sure that everybody adheres to that. Now, the form you filled says that you must start building so-so time, but also time you must get to a floor. And everyone that sounded me up, I tell you, before you buy, before you pay, this is the condition. Some of the subscribers who could not hold back their excitement commended the state government for its focus and sense of purpose. This will fasten the housing architecture of this state. If that momentum is, that policy is maintained everywhere. My comment is a commendation to the governor of the state. He's not an Obamaan. But for him to have thought of regeneration of the GRA in a balland is very commendable. The state government believes that it has reaffirmed its commitment towards provision of houses for all strata of the state economy, saying that about 4,000 units of low-cost housing have been delivered across the three senatorial districts of the state since the inception of the current administration.